Hey, Gordon, did you hear the news? Uh, what news? There are lots of people coming to the island of Sodor, so Sir Topham Hatt is bringing a special visitor to take them on tours to see some of its most beautiful sights. Really? And who might that be? Um, I'm not sure. He didn't say exactly. Oh, well, why can't engines like us give them tours since we live on this island? No, we can show them around too, it's just there might be more passengers than we can carry ourselves. So Sir Topham Hatt needs another engine to help us out. Well, how many people are- <gasps> That might be the visitor! Wait a minute, I know that whistle. It's the Flying Scotsman! Hello, hello, greetings, engines. Oh, Gordon, my dear brother, wasn't expecting to see you here today. It's been a while, Scotsman. Glad to see you come back to Sodor after your many trips on the mainland. Wait, I didn't know you two were brothers. You never knew? I'm surprised. Why, yes, we were both built in the same factory and by the same builder. Really? Who was he? Sir, Sir Nigel, Nigel Gresley. Oh, I've never heard of him. Although I do have one question. What exactly is it that makes you so famous, Mr. Scotsman? Well, I was the first steam engine in the world to reach a hundred miles per hour. Yeah, and he was also the second to travel that fast on Sodor. Sweet! Um, by the way, Scott, what's with all those steam effects painted on your sides? Oh, sorry about that. Apparently someone must have thought it would look cool if I had steam painted on me, but I find that rather bothering. Yeah, no offense, but to me it almost looks like someone tried to paint graffiti on you while you were asleep. <laughs> you are funny, Gordon. Yes, the steam painted on me may not have been necessary, but don't worry, I'm still your lovable flying Scotsman. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look everyone, it's Scotsman! Oh, we that's my signal. Way? Better get going. Yeah, me too. See you again soon, Gordon. Oh, uh, okay. Take care. Hey, where'd he go? I wanted to get a selfie with him. Well, I think he had to leave, but don't worry, I can sign autographs and take pictures and selfies with you. I am his brother, after all. No thanks. I'll pass. But it'll only take a moment. Wait, come back. We just want to see Scotsman. I'll draw my picture by my autographs to you all. You live with us on this island, Gordon. Come on, we were both built at Doncaster. You're kind of bothering us right now. Hey everyone, Ramafool here. Hope you enjoyed that little story run there, because today we will be looking at the newly released Trackmaster Flying Scotsman. And this is one of the three packs from the new upcoming Thomas and Friends movie, The Great Race, which I'm really looking forward to see. And I'm also looking forward to see Flying Scotsman in the movie, too. Now, the Scotsman actually got a TV appearance in Tender Engines, but all you could see were just his two tenders. So, in The Great Race, you get to see him in his first full TV appearance. And of course, the Flying Scotsman is Gordon's brother, and his model looks pretty nice. Although I think the only thing I would despise about this model are the painted steam effects on the sides. I was planning to paint over them, but there are a couple of other decals that I don't want to paint over by accident, so I might wait to see if Plarail decides to make a version of him without the steam. But anyway, let's move on to the rest of the model. I really like his face. It almost looks like he's making a winking expression just like on the wooden railway model. He has his nameplate on both sides of his wheel arches, and the top looks really good too. I'm actually glad they didn't paint any steam there, because on here you get a nice clean top view of the engine. Now, I have a wooden railway flying Scotsman, and if I compare it to the Trackmaster version, you'll see that the boiler on the wooden railway model is much thinner, where on the Trackmaster model it's more fatter. And here is his first tender with the L and ER on its sides. If I place the wooden tender next to it for size comparison, you can see that the Trackmaster tender is actually a lot more shorter than the wooden one. And finally, here is the second tender, aka his water tank, with the number 4472. Now, for those who are wondering, the reason why the Scotsman carried two tenders was because back on the railway he worked on, there was barely any coal and water available to take. So the two tenders store enough of that to help keep him running during long traveling. So, even though the steam effects weren't really necessary to add on to this model, I still think it's a really unique addition to add to your Trackmaster collection. Thanks for watching, please make sure to subscribe, this is Ramafool, signing out.